All right, first snake of the year. I can't say I find many of these, but uh, occasionally it is known to happen. If I can get a little closer. I actually don't know much about snakes other than to keep away from them. Uh, still, they're neat to find. It looks like the hoofed locust was here before me. White-tailed deer. They just use this path just as a human would. If I'm not mistaken, this is the seed head to some type of parasitic plant. You'll notice it's just a stem coming out of the ground and then a series of flowers with no real, uh, no structures for leaves or anything. It's these types of things that you only find in slightly less than untouched environments. Now, despite being 77 degrees today, I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, activity for winter ants yet. Just this one colony so far, and they're pretty inactive. So it might take another day just to re-wake everything up from our cold snap that we were in. So I'm actually next to a baseball field just inside the forest, and someone is really good at hitting uh, balls into right field. See, this one's so rotted, the uh, actual skin has come off it, and <laughs> you can see there are roots growing through it. A small colony of Lassius Neo Niger. Not really sure what I'm looking at here. But anyway, this colony looks like it's in full nuptial flight mode. I just need to see some queens and males come out. And more impressively, the hole directly next to it. Loads of queens and uh, loads of uh, ants anyway. Running around here. There's a Lassius umbratus queen off to look for a host uh, colony. Or maybe a leaf to hide under. I don't have a host colony, otherwise, I would try to start one of these. Always neat to watch the uh, process of a social parasite take over a colony. Maybe a little later today, I don't know. I'm seeing males coming out of this colony.
All right, start the clock. We have eight hours or two days to see this uh, twin leaf flowering. This is hepatica, which is not having a good year. Usually there's way more flowers than this. It is semi-evergreen, where the last year's leaves die off just as the uh, new growth comes up. See down here, new leaves are emerging. But this is another one that supposedly dispersed, uh, disperses its seeds by ants. I have sort of gotten it to work, but personally I've never found there to be too much Eliasome on these. I have a few other plants here, which are sort of... can't really tell what they are, I mean, it's uh... No. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just a patch of dead leaves at the, at the moment. The leaves are kind of nice and charming when you get them up here, you know, when they're new and fresh anyway, but uh, yeah, this is one of the plants I experiment with and I haven't really gotten too many uh, ants to take the seeds. The Eliasim on these is not that big. Nothing compared to Trilliums, which I have a few actually coming up right back there. So you mix and match the wildflowers. I knew honeybees worked henbin, or whatever wheat this is, but I had no idea it turned their uh, face bright orange when they did it. <laughs> <laughs> 